ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 8. Module 2 Expressions and Equations. 2.1 Variables and Parameters. Suppose Ria, Rohan, and Amir go to an ice cream vendor to purchase ice cream. Let the quantity of ice cream consumed by them be denoted by Q and the price charged by the ice cream vendor be denoted by P. The expenditure on consumption of ice cream by an individual can be written as E is equal to P multiplied by Q. If the price charged by the ice cream vendor for each ice cream is rupees 20, then the expenditure equation can be written as E is equal to 20Q. Note that the expenditure of Rhea, Rohan and Amir on ice cream will vary as per the quantity of ice cream they choose to consume. In the expenditure equation, E is equal to P multiplied by Q is equal to 20Q. P is equal to 20 is known as a constant term while the quantity which changes from person to person is known as a variable term. In any mathematical expression, a term whose values can change, that is, vary, is known as a variable, whereas a term which remains unchanged is known as a constant. Variables are usually denoted by x, y, z, whereas constants are denoted usually by A, B, C. The constant price in the expenditure equation given earlier is a special kind of constant. It is same for all individuals but may change over time or over different geographical regions. For example, suppose price of ice cream tomorrow may rise to 25 rupees per ice cream. You may think of price as a variable which is fixed in a particular situation. Such constants are known as parameters, which are fixed only in particular situations, but can vary over the situations. 2.2 Algebraic Expressions An algebraic expression is formed by joining variables and constants through the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Examples of algebraic expressions are under root 54 plus x 2x 3 minus 1 by x 4x plus 7y 3x square plus under root 2 xy etc. Note that the algebraic expression 4x plus 7y has two variables, x and y, and two terms, 4x and 7y. Similarly, the algebraic expression 3x square plus 2xy has two variables, x and y, and two terms, and 3x square and 2xy. An algebraic expression with one or more terms is called a polynomial. The constant terms in algebraic expressions are known as coefficients of the expression. For example, in the polynomial 3x square plus 2x, 3 and 2 are coefficients of variable terms x square and x respectively. The highest positive power of variable in the expression is n and is known as the degree of the polynomial. For example, the degree, that is, highest power of variable of polynomial expression 3x square plus 2x is 2, whereas the degree of minus x cube plus 3x square minus 5x 
plus 1 is 3. Polynomials with degree 1, 2 and 3 are called linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials respectively. Page 9 There are two types of conditions that you may put on the value of any expression with variables. 1. Equality condition 2. Inequality condition For example, you may want that the expression 7x minus 11 should always be equal to 0. This equality condition on the value of 7x minus 11 can be written as the following equation. 7x minus 11 is equal to 0. Likewise, you may want that the expression 7x minus 11 should always be positive. Inequality can be weak or strong. Strong inequality condition is written as 7x minus 11 is greater than 0 and weak inequality can be written as 7x minus 11 is greater than or is equal to 0. Let us first talk about equality conditions, that is, equations. An equation equates two terms, value of expressions on both sides, that is, on the left-hand side, and the right-hand side of expressions must be same. For example, x is equal to minus 3. x plus y is equal to 2. x square minus 3x is equal to minus x plus 8, etc. While the equation x plus y is equal to 2 is an equation in two variables, x and y, the equations are x is equal to minus 3 and x square minus 3x is equal to minus x plus 8 are equations in just one variable x. While the degree of equations x square minus 3x is equal to minus x plus 8 and xy is equal to 4 is 2. The degree of equations x is equal to minus 3 and x plus y is equal to 2 is 1. The equations with degree 1, 2 and 3 are known as linear, quadratic and cubic equations respectively. Note that a linear equation in one variable say, for example, 7x minus 11 is equal to 0 is satisfied only when x takes a value 11 by 7 and otherwise not. The value of the variable x is equal to 11 by 7 which satisfies 7x minus 11 is equal to 0 is known as the real solution or root of that linear equation in one variable. Point 1. A linear equation has a unique, that is, one and only one solution. Point 2. A quadratic equation in one variable always has two solutions. Sometimes both the solutions are same. For example, the quadratic equation x square minus 3x is equal to minus x plus 8, which can be rewritten as x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0, is satisfied either when x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2, while the quadratic equation x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 is satisfied only when x is equal to 1. You may check this by inserting these values of variable in the equations. Module 2 ends here. Happy listening! 
you were just listening to this chapter subject coordinator dr jaya singh production assistant jagbandhu jana sound recordist batilang lindo and vikas sangwan artists anandana kapoor and akash ahuja produced by vimlesh choudhury and presented by cie T N C E R T New Delhi India